it's been quite a while since I've made a video. Um, I had some family things going on. Um, my grandma passed away, so I kind of was a little sad for a while, so I kind of stopped. Um, didn't stop gardening, just stopped filming. Um, but everything's okay. And it's fall and the garden has changed a lot. Um, I have some worms this morning I'm gonna add to my garden. Victor went fishing over the weekend. Um, he goes kayak fishing whenever he can. So both Saturday and Sunday he went out fishing and he had bought some worms, didn't use them all. So I get to put the rest in my garden. So let's go add these wonderful things to my garden. Um, so I don't have a lot going on right now. Um, very empty garden waiting for my starts to sprout and grow big enough so I can transplant them. Um, but what I can do is add some worms. So why do we add worms to our garden? Um, I get the question, aren't there already worms in the soil? Why are you adding worms to your garden? Um, and it's true, there are earthworms in the soil, but depending on what type of garden you have, so I have a raised bed, um, and so of course there weren't originally a ton of worms in here. We did go and add really good quality dirt from a neighboring old orchard, and so we did end up getting worms in our garden but we have added more and more over time and you can see actually every time that I dig actually even when I was weeding a little bit ago I was pulling up big chunks of grass because I haven't been into weed and so I pulled up a big chunk of grass and I uprooted a worm on accident and the worm started wiggling around so there's worms everywhere in this garden and worms are so great for your garden if you get the chance to add worms or just add worm castings, do it. Um, so I add worms from Victor's fishing trips because he goes often enough. I get worms all the time from his trips. Um, and so what worms do as they're, as they're crawling around through your garden, they're leaving spaces because they're basically digging their own tunnels. Um, now you don't end up with full tunnels all over because they do collapse and everything, but it does help aerate the, the helps aerate the soil. The other thing that worms do, they help break down bigger particles. So um, like I had beans on all of these trellises and the bean leaves dried and most of them I picked up but quite a bit of them I actually left in the garden and then um, when I worked the soil I don't do like a full turnover but I kind of dig up the soil a little bit and um, added the leaves like kind of buried the leaves almost into the soil and um, then they'll decompose and they'll add nutrients into the soil so the the worms eat the leaves the dead leaves and other things that are in the soil, they help break them down and add nutrients back into the soil. So when the worms eat different things and they poop out what's called worm castings. Um, and those worm castings are such a good nutrient source for your plants. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna release these worms. I'll probably dig a little trench, release the worms and kind of bury them. Um, and then they'll be happy and they'll join the other worms in my garden and they'll love all of the, the compost that I add in there and then the old dying leaves that get um, moved around and get buried in with all of the dirt. The worms are so, so happy in my garden. So let's do that. <music> buys them from the, the fish and game store 
or wherever he goes to get his supplies. Um, puts them in here so you can keep them on his kayak. There's holes, you can see. Holes in here, holes in the top so the worms still get oxygen um, and air. And then of course there's dirt in there to keep them happy, nice and cool. This looks like the container that he used. Um, there they are. In the bottom. So if you add the worms into your garden, you definitely want to do that like first thing in the morning so that they're, um, they can kind of warm up throughout the day. So I kind of, I buried mine a little bit. I just put a quick layer so that they won't dry out with the air and the sun. Um, they can kind of warm up in the dirt if they need to and then they'll make their way into their new home. Now you don't want to do that in the middle of the night if it's freezing because they could just sit there and then freeze and die. Um, you also definitely don't want to do it in the heat of the day. So summer here, it's like 110 degrees. Um, that would be bad. You would fry your worms. They would dry out and then you wouldn't have any worms for your garden. So um, I'm doing this first thing in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning here. Nice and cool still. I think it's like maybe 60 degrees. I don't know. Some sun's coming out, so it's starting to feel a little bit warmer. Um, which is great, but they'll be fine. So let's do the second container. Move to another part of my garden here. Um, helps spread out the worms a little bit. So I just got these containers on Amazon. Um, I'll share the link below in case you guys are also fishermen or married to fishermen. Um, See the worms? Yeah, so. Just gonna. Oh. Ooh, lots of big worms in this one. still alive very good they'll warm up here in a little bit move around make their way down into the dirt they'll be fine so the soil that they came in is very very rich that's full of worm castings um, so they probably came from a worm farm um, or were ordered or something oh there he goes and so the dirt that they come in, in the little containers, you'll see them in the, the little white Tupperware containers with holes, um, full and full, full of worm castings and other stuff. So that dark, dark soil is very, very rich, very nutrient dense, very, very good for your soil. That's what the, the worms are gonna do to the rest of your garden, the rest of your soil. So you want that dark, dark earth. That's very, very good. So these worms are just, they're, um, <laughs> I popped them in here so they were startled for a second, but now they are adjusting. You can see them moving they will get themselves situated and now they have a ton of space to wiggle around in and find more nutrients. And So I talked about the benefits of putting worms in the garden. Um, they help aerate the soil. So adding air, adding the little tunnels throughout the soil keeps it nice and light and fluffy, um, prevents your soil from getting super compact, helps the roots grow through the soil when it's nice and loose and fluffy. So you really want that. Um, they, they also break down any um, 
plant material that's dead in your garden, so dead dried leaves, any grasses and stuff, the compost that you throw into your garden, um, any like food scraps, eggshells, that kind of stuff, the worms will eventually break it down. They ingest it, they eat it, they poop it out, called worm castings, adds a lot of nutrients into the soil that the plants, your living plants can then reabsorb and grow from those. So if you have a worm, your own worm farm, like a worm bin or something, and you're collecting from worms, um, so like what we're planning on doing is we have a trash can that we're gonna do a smaller trash can like kitchen size ca trash can uh, you cut the bottom off of it and then uh, make a contraption and I'll put a link to something similar to that or I'll um, put a picture here so you can see what one of those looks like basically you're gonna um, you're gonna add your food scraps and newspaper and stuff to the top of the bin the worms are gonna climb up and eat all of that, break it down, poop, which creates the nutrient soil. The soil goes to the bottom, you add more food scraps to the top, the worms continue to climb up to where the food source is, and then from the bottom you can harvest out the good nutrient-dense soil, the worm castings from the bottom. Um, you also get a lot of liquid with that, and they call it worm tea. Really, really nutrient-dense really great for your garden as well. Um, it's really great during the summer months. It helps your garden retain moisture. So it's going to help your garden hold water in the soil so it doesn't dry out as quickly. You don't have to water as often, which is a great help here in the summer when it's 110 degrees and the sun is just beating down on my soil um, if I don't have it covered with something. So having the worms in the garden and creating the, um, the, their own worm tea helps my soil retain water. So few, few benefits that worms have for your garden, but they're three very important benefits. I highly, highly recommend getting worms or, uh, or buying bags of worm castings to add to your garden, add some nutrients so your plants love it. That's what I wanted to talk to you about today, worms. I know they're a little uh, slimy and squirmy, but they're very, very important benefit to your garden. So thank you, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, add them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.